Right, well, welcome back. So, in my quest to get uh, AM32 running on uh, my Honeybee Bro QAV 250, uh, you'll remember from last time that uh, I got it flashed finally, but didn't work very well, and in particular, BD Shop didn't work, work very well. So, uh, in order to address that, I am going to flash a custom version of AM32. So, I've got the AM32 uh, GitHub page up here. So, you see it's github.com AM32 firmware AM32. And this is the main branch, but what I'm actually going to flash is this branch KISS RG Pilot D Shop branch. Hopefully, this will be merged into the main branch soon enough. But this is the one I'm going to use. So, I've cloned this locally. And what I'm going to do is so you can see they've got the clone here, M32. And if I go into Keel Projects, you'll see that there's all of these UV Proj X um, projects. And that, uh, if you've installed the um, the Keel Build Tools, the Arm Build Build Tools, which I told you about last time, you should be able to open one of these. So I know the Teco 32 uses the AT. F41, so I'm going to open that project, which is this one here, M32 F41, and it opens the tool. There we go, so here's the tool that we've got, project M32 F41, and then I need to select the right targets. You can see there's all of these targets here. The target I'm going to select is, uh, Ray, I had it just I literally there and I've got it there. Wraith. It should be here somewhere. Oh I see it's yeah. Wraith 32. So that's the target I'm gonna do. And then just to be sure I'm gonna clean the targets and then build the target. Bring the target to Wraith 32. Completed without error, which is great. And so what I should find now is if I go back here in Keel Projects Objects is a hex file for the Wraith 32F41. So that's the one I'm going to use. So uh, in order to flash, so I've got the, um, uh, I'm going to use the early pass through with RG Pilot. This worked okay last time I tried it, so I'll just pair it up. So pad up the ESCs, and then I'm going to use this ESC config tool here. So serial port connector. I'll start up, select my serial port, which is, happens to be 40. Connect. Okay, so I'm connected, and I want to flash. A flash motor one, and then I go it again so for some reason first time it doesn't work second time it does don't know why uh, okay so now I'm going to load up the firmware I just built so I'm going to find that firmware um, which is github 32 key projects objects m32 f41 hex. Let's open that. So I've loaded the firmware and now I can say a flash firmware which if I'm lucky it will flash straight off without getting stuck. Now remember I had some issues with this previously and I had to use Betaflight um, to flash to the latest firmware but now with the latest firmware on things seem to be a bit more sane so I'm not quite sure what's changed but I'm happy that it's more sane. There we go and it beeped away so you can hear that and then basically you just do uh, the same for everything else. So I've already loaded the firmware so I can just say flash firmware. Away it goes. And 
that's working as well. So I'll just do the other four. Brilliant. All right. So I'll pause there, do the other two. And all done. So now close the connection. Um, I'll put this away. So what I need to do is repower uh, both the flight controller and the ESCs. Actually, probably only need to repower the ESCs because uh, that's usually what's required for um, ultra flashing. All right, so that's the ESCs repowered. So now I should be able to connect using Mission Planner. So let's bring up Mission Planner. Right. Ah. I didn't close the connection, which wasn't very clever. Okay, so you have to re repower everything because I didn't close the connection. Let's try that again. All right. And if they keep going, doo -doo -doo, doo -doo -doo, that means there's no D shot signal. So once they stop beeping like that, you know there's a D shot signal. All right, so I've connected via Mission Planner. Um, and uh, I want to set up BD shot for these. So, um, so I've got first MOP. MOTP really M type 6, which is D shot 600. And then I want to go to server BLH and I've got BD mask here set to 15360. Now that's just down to the vagaries of how I've um, how I've plugged these in. They're plugged into channels um, 11 through 14, which is why I need this mask. So yours, your setup might be different. Uh, and what I want to then try is a motor test. So let's try motor A. We B motor C motor D. Perfect. Great. And then what I want to try and do is check on the actual RPM, the ESC telemetry. So let's run all the motors for 10 seconds and switch over to the status page. And here I am looking at, well, I can see it for 11 and 12. Unfortunately, 14 and 15 are not shown here, but you can see I'm getting RPM information there as well. And also you'll notice I've got voltage and temperature information as well, which is these ESCs now support EDT thanks to AM32 and that's because I've got servo D shot ESC set to Beale Holly 32 KISS plus EDT. So that means I get this EDT update here. Um, and both temperature and uh, um, temperature uh, and voltage which is great. So then the final thing to notice is if I go to motor test you'll notice that that I think is running in the wrong direct oh no that is in the right direction if we try this one this is running in the wrong direction so since it appears to support D-Shock commands, we should be able to whoops, use servo BLH RV mask 
and I'm so I need to reverse <laughs> reverse the right two channels, which I always get wrong. But let's let's take a punt. So we were on 11 through 14, so I'm going to reverse 12 and 13. Probably isn't even that. It's probably something like 12 and 14, which produces a, a weird number. Um, and this requires a reboot, so I'm going to reboot, replug, and see whether that gets things moving in the right direction. All right. Reconnect. Let's see. Spin these all and see which. Let's do it for 20, 20 seconds. See which ones are going in the right direction. That's correct. That's correct. That's wrong. That's wrong. So. C and D are wrong. Motor two, motor three. Ah, oh, it's not a. I, yeah, okay. So my guess at. Uh, um, so one and two are correct. Sorry, one and four are correct. Two and three are wrong. So I suppose if we if if this was logical. Then I would set this bit mask to to change two and three, which would be twelve and thirteen. So let's try that. Repower and reboot. Motor test page twenty. Let's see what happens. That's correct. That's correct. That's correct. That's correct. Way. All right. Logic won the day. So the motors are spinning in the in the right directions with the RV mask set, which is great. So it means our M thirty two properly supports D shot commands. Um. And I think the last thing to try is uh, notify. So let's see what notify does. So we're going to switch. We've got notify buzzer type set to three, which is buzzer and D shot. So I think that was doing something BP. We'll see. And then any LED types. It includes D-Shot, but I'm not getting D-Shot LEDs there, so clearly the, the D-Shot command for LED is not implemented properly at the moment, so I might investigate that at some point. Um, but that all appears to be working well, which is great. So if I disconnect from there, I can claim victory. So I think the next thing to do is uh, set this up and fly it and see how it goes. Thanks for watching.